Hey everyone, it's Racing Cats, and today we have another little Q&A for you guys. But before we get started, I just have a few little announcements, a few things I want to mention, and all and all that good stuff. So first off, I want to turn this into a monthly series or so. Maybe have it every month or so, have you guys send in questions, and I'll answer them, and you guys can just get to know a little bit more about me every month or so. So, instead of calling it a Q&A... If, we're, if I'm going to make it into a series, I want to call it something else that can define it. So I was thinking about the Cat's Corner. Now, that might sound, sound a bit cheesy, but I think it'll be a pretty good name for this type of thing. It's Cat's Corner. You get to sit back, relax, learn a bit about me, listen to me talk, you know, so on, whatever. Okay, next, I want to talk about why I changed my profile picture. So, as many of you noticed by now, or I would hope you've noticed by now, I have changed my profile picture. Now, a lot of people have said they liked it. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy you guys like it. But there are have been a few people that have been a little bit skeptical of the change. And for those people, I just want to give you the reason why I decided to change the picture. So, I've had this picture from the very beginning of my YouTube channel. And I've only now decided to change it because it's a sort of a revival thing. How I kind of said in my announcement video, it's a revival type of thing. And if I, if I want to go with a new, if I want to start fresh, start anew, I want to have a new picture that defines me and that changes up everything. So it doesn't seem like, so I, I'm, I'm losing my, I'm losing my uh, words here, but basically I just want to go with a revival idea. And make sure that it's that it represents a new coming, I guess you could say. Next thing, uh, next thing I want to mention is the gameplay for today's video is Overwatch. And if you didn't know, Overwatch is released on the day that this video is coming out on May 24th. Right now, it's May 22nd. I'm not playing it yet, but by the time you're watching this video, I'll probably be playing the ever living shit out of Overwatch. And I would imagine many of you are going to be the same way. Next, I also want to mention that since today is May 24th, it's my birthday. It's not my birthday while I'm recording this, but it's my birthday. Hey! And finally, the last thing I'm mentioning before we get into the Q&A is that from June 3rd until like, I think it's two weeks or so, I'm going to go to Mexico. And in that time, there's going to be a little less videos, but I'm not going to leave you completely in the dark. So I will have maybe three or four videos up by the time I'm gone to Mexico. And you guys will have entertainment. You'll have videos for me throughout the whole thing. And that'll be just dandy. So you shouldn't have to, you should not have to worry about that. I'll have videos up. And wow, I'm now looking over at Audacity and I see this intro has been about three minutes long. So let's finally get into these questions. <laughs> All right. Probably the most popular question I got for this Q&A would be, how did I come up with my name, Racing Cats? I've told this story before, but many of you probably weren't here to hear it, so I'll just go ahead and tell it again. So, the story of Racing Cats comes from maybe back in 2008 or 2009. My cousin was signing up for a dating website, and he was 13 at the time. Obviously... Signing up for a dating website at the age of 13 is pointless and probably is not going to go anywhere, but I digress. Anyways, uh, he decided to come up with the name Racing Fish because he liked, uh, NAS he liked NASCAR and he likes fishing. So he decided to combine the two together to make Racing Fish. So I, when I heard of that name, I was like, huh, that's, that's a pretty good name. So, I stuck with racing, but instead of using fish, I substituted my favorite animal in there. And can you take one guess as to what my favorite animal was? Yeah, it was a cat. So, it came up with racing cats. And the Z at the, at the end also came from fish. I think he put a Z at the end of his, I'm not sure. Maybe I just put a Z there because racing cat was usually taken. I don't know. I don't remember where the Z came from, but the racing cat came from the dating website that my cousin signed up for. I didn't sign up for it, but I, I came up with my name that way, basically. What was your best experience while recording? Okay, so maybe this doesn't really count as my best experience recording, but I would have to say I really enjoyed the days when I could just hop on Xbox and turn on Black Ops 2, turn on the Elgato, 
and just record and have fun with my uh, new tube reaction videos. Now, if you haven't seen my channel's past, I used to do Black Ops 2 noob tube reactions because in Black Ops 2, noob tubes were probably one of the weakest things in the game. You pretty much had to hit them with the grenade launcher in order for the explosion to actually kill them. But I would say that was the best experience for me just because it was a time where it was kind of care or it was carefree, I guess you could say. I could just hop on and do whatever and we would have some sort of plan of what kind of clips we were going for. And while we were doing that, I could just noob tube people and they would get mad at me. And just them getting mad at me was kind of fun. I don't know. And maybe I'm just weird like that. How do I feel about my channel and my YouTuber life so far? Okay, so for my YouTube channel, I believe it's doing very good compared to how it's been before. So obviously whenever you stop uploading for a long time like I have, your channel's gonna die out a little bit. Most of your subscribers are gonna become inactive and stop watching your videos. Now, right now I'm sitting at like 155,000 and getting about maybe, I wanna say about 10K views per video. Now that's like, if you look at someone who's always been active at that amount of subscribers, that's a pretty, that's not a good number. They only have 10,000 people watching. However, 10,000 people for me is a lot considering how many times I've started uploading and stopped uploading. Started uploading and stopped uploading. I'm surprised anyone's here to watch it really, but as to how I feel about my channel and my life with YouTube so far, it's going great. It's, it's doing fantastic. And this summer is going to be the, the time that I get to upload the most. And I can't wait because I'm so excited to see what I can bring to this channel. What I can bring to you guys. What kind of content you guys want. And it, that's, that's such an exciting thing for me because I get to create all of this stuff that hopefully puts a smile on at least one of your faces. And if I can do that, that's my ultimate goal with this. But as to how my channel's doing, I think it's doing absolutely great. What's my favorite video game? Obviously, I'm gonna have to say Monster Hunter is my favorite video game because I love every single version that they bring out and they actually have another game coming out, I believe in a month or two. I think it comes out in July or sometime, but it's uh, Monster Hunter Generations. I'm looking forward to that because the, the new stuff that they added seems really awesome. I can't wait to play around with it, but it's just such a great game. It's got a, it's hard for people to get into but once you finally understand how to play the game, it's absolutely fun and it's absolutely amazing. I just love it so much. What's your favorite kind of music? So I would have to say that my favorite kind of music would have to be rock. However, I listen to everything and I like most things except country. Country is not good. Bad country. But if I had to choose one specific genre to say is my favorite, I would definitely have to say rock. What's your favorite number? So I would say my favorite number would be the number 11. However, the number 12 holds a more symbolic meaning for me. And if you can figure out what that symbolic meaning is, then I will give you a cookie. Because it's not that hard to figure it out. And it's on my YouTube channel. So if you can figure it out, go ahead, comment, leave a, leave a comment saying you figured it out and tell people, I don't know. But 12 would be my favorite. 12 would be the number I'd say is my favorite. Do you have a story to tell me? Oh boy, do I have a story to tell you. This story, it, it, it happened to me when I was, I think, 12 or so. So anyways, I went over to a friend's house for a sleepover. There were about five of us guys over there. And at one point, we decided to just go outside and play around for a little bit. Uh, two of my friends decided to get on a golf cart. Two of my other friends decided to play basketball, I believe. And then finally there was me just kind of driving around on their driveway with a scooter. Now, however, at, while I was driving around with the scooter, I got bored of just driving around on the pavement and I tried to start driving on the dirt. Now, if you've ever tried to drive a scooter on the dirt, obviously you know that's not gonna work very well. But I was trying it anyways, pushing myself as slow as possible, but still doing it just because. So anyways, I'm on the scooter still and I see my friends on the golf cart driving around the house and all of a sudden there's they're on one side of the house and I'm on the other side now I look over at them and the scooters moving really slow and I look at him and he's I'm thinking to myself 
Oh, he'll move out of the way. He'll drive out of the way. Spoiler alert, he did not get out of the way. I did not have time to get out of the way. So, basically, I'm on the scooter, and all of a sudden, I get hit by a golf cart going... I don't know how fast... How fast can golf carts go? I have no clue. But they... It hit me, and hit me to the ground with the scooter. And thinking back to it, that scooter probably could have killed me, because it, like... A, the weight of a golf cart plus a scooter handlebar and on my chest or something could have crushed something I don't know so anyways that happened and then like I was I was telling him to stop I was looking at him kind of telling him to stop but he didn't stop and he hit me however when I finally kind of got reoriented he had stopped however he had stopped on top of me the back wheel was sitting on top of my back so, he managed to hit the brakes in time, just in time, to keep the wheel on my back. So, obviously, I was like, drive off of me, you dumbass, basically. And then he drove off of me, and then they they got off the golf cart to check on me, and so did the other people playing basketball at the time. And I'm just like, how can you be that fucking stupid? He's still my best friend, but how could you be so fucking stupid? Like, come on. So, anyways, uh, to make the long story short, I got ran over by a golf cart. Luckily for me, there were no injuries other than a few bruises and a scratch or two. But other than that, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you love me? Yeah, I would say I love you. However, I love everyone. I love everyone here. You guys are all the best, and I love all of you. Every single one of you. And I'm here for you. And I'm just going to say this, that I read every comment just because I love you all so much. I may not respond to every single comment, but you guys are what make it worth it. Can I fuck you? Why don't you come on down and find out, baby? It's National Send a Nude Day. So would you send a nude on this day or do you regularly? Yeah, no, I don't think the world is ready for a nude from me. Sorry to disappoint you all. Be mean or be mean. That's that shouldn't even be a question. That should just be a slogan. Just plaster that all over the back of your car, all on the bumper stickers. Make tons of bumper stickers of this slogan. Instead of make America great again, we can be be mean or be meme. It's like give me liberty or give me death, except with memes. Which ironically I just turned into a meme right there. I am the meme machine. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? Uh, bacon. Bacon's a pretty good answer. 42, obviously, because that comes from the book. Uh, what else could be an answer to life? Uh, happiness. Happiness is pretty good. Uh, death. Uh, death is the answer to life. I mean, everyone's gonna live and everyone's gonna die. Uh, what else is... Live video games. Video games are life. Uh, what else? Uh... Water. Everyone needs water. Water is definitely an answer to life. I hope I answered your question. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for questions for today. I'd like to thank you all for asking me questions. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. And this time, I promise there's not a surprise at the end of the outro. I promise you that. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time.